Well, Don, unfortunately, the forecast we left you with late uh, Friday uh, worked out. Would have, we all, all would have been better off had it not. A flood warning has remained in effect and will remain in effect for the Tonawanda Creek. Let me give you the good news first. The flood warning for the Ellicott Creek in Williamsville and for the Allegheny River in Olean have been canceled. Waters there have dropped below flood stage. But the Tonawanda Creek will continue to rise from rapids across Clarence, North Amherst, Newstead and Royalton tonight. Currently at Rapids, it's at 14 feet with the National Weather Service hydrology program predicting a crest of 15.8 feet. That's very close to major flooding. It's already having some serious impacts, but impacts will be worsening this evening and tonight in North Amherst and also Clarence, Royalton, Newstead, where waters will continue to rise. The tributaries and feeder streams into the Tonawanda Creek are receiving backup waters from that creek, so problems will worsen there as well. As for the snow, it's purely lightweight stuff for now. We're going to see more widespread snow showers tomorrow, but somewhat more significant lake snow setting up to the south. I have more on that and the full seven-day 4-1 forecast in a few minutes, Don. Thank you, Don. As Don just mentioned, Tonawanda Creek is a major concern tonight. Neighbors are dealing with a big headache. News 4's Lou Ragus is live in East Amherst with the details. Lou? Tonawanda Creek is currently at 14 feet, which is considered moderate flood stage. And when it crests later tonight, the levels are expected to be at the highest since 1998. Everywhere you go in the town of Royalton, the sound of generators and water pumps fill the air. And the mood? Oh, boy. Miserable. Dale Allure's house is but an island getting swallowed by water. He received help from firefighters pumping water out of his basement. Well, it's up to here. The source of the flooding is the Tonawanda Creek. If it crests at nearly 16 feet, like the National Weather Service predicts, it'll be at its highest level since 1998. I enjoy it here, but I like the country. No one bothers you or nothing, but hey, you know, the water, the water. People living in Royalton were hit with a double whammy. Water creeping into their homes, and no power. What's it like living in this? Oh, cold. The ice storm is what brought down these power lines just down the road. There, the Kulf family is still expecting guests for Christmas, but priority number one is now just keeping warm. Well, yesterday morning, it kind of started getting pretty cold in the house with no furnace, so we ended up having to hop in the car. We ran down to Lockport and went to Walmart and found some heaters and got them plugged into the generator. Is this how you wanted to spend your Christmas no, vacation? Not really. Everywhere you look, roads are closed or nearly impassable. In this case, the road marked flooded is actually a driveway. About a quarter mile of water surrounds this house from every direction. It's something many residents have come to dread in the spring. But late December, this is something else.